Movies bring us a lot of joy and entertainment. It brings me a lot of joy. But have you ever stopped to consider what really goes down while the film is in production? Well, I bet you would be shocked to find out that there are countless of life-threatening accidents that happen all the time. Some might even go as far to say that these movies carry a curse with them. So you know what, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 cursed movies ever made part 2. If you guys missed part 1, that's okay, I forgive you. You guys can go right now and check it out, you guys can click right over here, and also the video link will be in the description below. Hey, how's it going you guys? I'm going to be your host Landon Dalton and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you guys can become a part of the most amazing family. Whenever we make videos, you guys will be the first ones to be notified. Let's get right into this one. The Possession starts this cursed list off in at number 10. This movie was released in 2012 and it's about a young girl who stumbles across a cursed die book box that contains a demonic spirit looking to possess and feast on humans. The synopsis this is scary enough, but did you guys know that some messed up things happened while this movie was in production? Lights exploded on set and props mysteriously burst into flames, but that's not where the fun ends. Due to the popularity of the film, thousands of people were looking to purchase a die buck box online so they could see what the hype is all about. And unfortunately for them, a lot of bad things happen to a lot of innocent people. This movie will make you think twice about going to a garage sale or shopping on eBay. The Quantum of Solace dives onto this list at number 9. This is the 22nd movie in the James Bond series. Okay, how many James Bond movies do we need? And I'm yet to see any of them. Well, during the shooting of the film, a lot of mishaps occurred, which made a lot of people think that this movie is cursed. Daniel Craig, Mr. Bond himself, accidentally sliced off the tip of his finger and on another occasion, he cut his face so badly that he had to get stitches, which interrupted filming. But wait, there's, there's more. A very destructive fire caused extensive damage to the set, and several stuntmen were severely hurt in a car crash. And to top it all off, the movie didn't do well at the box office, and it got a lot of negative reviews, so it really wasn't worth making it. Let's keep this curse list moving in at number 8, we have a Rebel Without a Cause. This is an oldie but goodie. Rebel Without a Cause was released in 1955 and it was about a troubled teenager who moves to a new town to get a clean slate, but as fate would have it, trouble follows him wherever he goes and he finds himself in a very sticky situation. James Dean was the main star of the film, but sadly before the movie was released, he died in a tragic car crash. Actually, he was the first of three actors who starred in this movie to die way too soon. Salmino was another star in the movie. After its release, he went on to some other acting gigs, but his career kind of flopped. But just as he was making a comeback, he was stabbed to death while on his way home from a rehearsal. Natalie Wood soon met her untimely fate when she died while filming another movie called Brainstorm. So a lot of people in Hollywood say that this movie is cursed and anyone who worked on it has had some form of bad luck happen to them. The Matrix brings us to number 7. Released in 1999, The Matrix was referred to as a cinematic revolution because of their groundbreaking special effects and for producing something that we've never seen before at the time. However, as the sequel started getting pumped out, because you know the, the main movie did really well, so why not make many more of them? Well, there was curses and bad luck surrounding making the trilogy. First, we have the tragic death of Aaliyah, who died in an airplane crash. Before she died, Aaliyah was cast in the sequel of The Matrix as the character Z. She even filmed parts of her role, but it had to be recast. Aaliyah wasn't the only unfortunate one. Gloria Foster also died while shooting the sequel back 2001. She died from complications related to diabetes. And then there was Keanu Reeves, who showed up on his first day shooting with a neck brace because he had to have spinal surgery just a few weeks before shooting. I mean, what is going on? So all of his fight scenes had to be reworked, and don't even get me started with the budget. Apparently the cost of the production spiraled out of control, and the whole franchise was in some pretty serious jeopardy of being shut down. I say as soon as the first person died, you gotta shut that stuff down. Psycho stabs its way onto this list at number 6. This is a cult classic that was directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Really amazing director. And it's a movie that doesn't need an introduction. But in case you guys need a little refresher, well here are some of the most infamous scenes from the movie. Ah! 
I'm pretty sure everyone was afraid to take a shower after watching this movie. But let's talk about how one of the biggest tragedies surrounding this movie, Myra Jones, was a body double for Janet Lee. Well, she was brutally murdered on set when a handyman killed her. Apparently, he was obsessed with Hitchcock, and he told the police that he killed her in order to impress him. I mean, that sounds like we need some pretty intense background checks on the people in the background of the movies because, I mean, we just had a killer on set. How did he get there? Passion of the Christ brings us to number 5. This movie was already the center of a lot of controversy when it was released. It was attacked for being anti-Semitic and for having too much gory violence. But as it turns out, it became a major box office success, earning over $600 million worldwide. But this film did not escape from being cursed. I guess God had a problem with the film, maybe they got a few things wrong. Because on set accidents that make you wonder if the, if the big guy upstairs wasn't pleased with the movie. Well the actor who played Jesus was struck by lightning during filming, and I mean, just let that sink in for a minute. Do you know how rare it would be to be struck by lightning? It's about 1 in 700,000. I mean, you've never met someone struck by lightning. And if that wasn't enough for you guys, he also dislocated his shoulder while carrying the crucifix and had his flesh ripped off his back while being whipped. I mean, what the heck is going on? The assistant director was also struck by lightning two separate times while filming. I mean, I would shut it down at that point. How is this even possible? I'd stop production, throw some holy water on set, and have a priest to bless this movie and I, I would never release it. And now number four, we have the movie Brainstorm. This is a movie that starred Christopher Walken and Natalie Wood. And it was about a machine that allows to live our other people's experiences. Sounds like a cool concept, but during the filming of the movie, Natalie Woods, her husband and Christopher Walken were on a yacht. Sounds like a good time, right? Well, Wrong. Natalie Wood fell into the water while she was drinking, but she ended up drowning because no one saw her fall into the water. Years after her death, the captain of the ship said that her husband killed her. No charges were ever made, but her death forced the production to use a body double, and after years of delays, the studio released the movie with no advertising. It basically ended the director's career, and that's probably why you've never heard or seen this movie. Climbing up this list, in number three, we have The Twilight Zone, the movie. It's no secret that Twilight Zone is full of strange and bizarre stories, but this real life curse is even more terrifying. While filming this movie, there was one scene where the lead actor was supposed to rescue two children. The director wanted to use a helicopter to fly overhead, but the helicopter crashed and it ended up crushing one of the kids and cutting the hand off of the lead actor and the other child. The director John Landis and producer Steven Spielberg were ultimately acquitted of involving voluntary manslaughter and child endangerment. The parents of the children sued and settled out of court for an undisclosed amount, so it's probably millions. This is probably one of the most tragic things that can ever happen on set. The Conqueror is up next at number two. For those of you guys who don't know, The Conqueror is a movie that was released back in 1956, starring John Wayne. I've personally never seen it and probably never will, to be honest with you guys, but I was pretty shocked when I read about all of the curses surrounding this film, and the reason why it doesn't really want to make me, it doesn't make me want to see it. I don't want to be cursed. Firstly, we had a flash flood that killed nearly the entire crew, and if that was and traumatizing enough, the lead actress was attacked by a black panther. But wait, there's more. The entire cast and crew were exposed to a nuclear fallout for the entire 13 weeks that they filmed in Snow Cannon. There was literally downwind from where the US Army was testing 11 atomic bombs. How does this even make sense? There must have been a million other places that they could have filmed. So because of this, a lot of people who worked on the film were diagnosed and died of cancer just after a few years after filming was done, including John Wayne. And finally, topping our list, in at number one, we have Atuk. It's okay if you've never heard of this movie, uh, a tuck, because I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. But before scripting this, I had no idea what this movie was. But now I'm going to refer to this movie as one of the most cursed movies that has ever been made and you know what, I will tell you why. A Tuck is a comedy about an Alaskan Inuit. It started off with John Belushi being offered the role. But soon after he finished reading the script, he passed away from a drug overdose. Is the plot really that bad? But then another actor was offered the role and when he got on set, he demanded that the entire script was changed. I guess the plot was crap, but because he was acting like a diva, he was fired and shortly afterwards, he died from a car crash. John Candy was next in line, he died of a heart attack, 
The last two actors that were offered the role were Chris Farley and Phil Hartman. Farley died of a drug overdose and Hartman died from a gunshot wound. So as far as I know, the movie is no longer in production and it's probably a good idea because it's known as an actor killer. I mean, after knowing about all of that, I wouldn't want to be the actor of this film. Well, there you guys have it. Hopefully I didn't freak you guys out too much. I'm pretty freaked out, especially with the last one. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.